Do you want to add texture to your project? Try flock. The supplies that I have been using that I find are the best is a two-way glue pen and this one has a point like a gel pen roller ball has. And, uh, and, and this is by Zig. I think you might still be able to find this in a craft store or something comparable to it by a different company. But just make sure that it says two-way glue. And then the other one that you can use, this is from Stampin' Up, and it is a two-way glue as well, but this one has a chisel tip, and you can use this in wider areas of your image. Using this type of a glue, you probably know from your own experience that when you squeeze it out, you get a semi-tubular shape with the glue. It doesn't squirt out flat, flat, flat. Your regular glue, you see how it's tubular shape. When you apply it to make it stick, you have to press it. and then you have to tap off the excess. Now, that does not look quite appealing. To flock a stamped image, I would recommend something that has some good gaps in it. Um, one of these wouldn't be so very good because they all run together, they're real close, and they're real tight. And flocking does better, looks better, when it has a little bit of room. Use an ink that will dry quickly. So I'm going to use Stays On. This is Rubber Hedgehog. I got this at Michaels or Hobby Lobby many years ago. I don't know. Several years ago. Okay, ink your stamp as you normally would. Stamp your image. And give this, give this oh, about a minute to dry, to thoroughly dry. Uh, this stuff, this stays on stuff does dry quickly, but I want it to dry totally before I start the application of my glue and flock. Uh, because anything that's wet, the flock will, will go on but as long as it's not glue, it's not going to stick. It's just going to get in your way, and it's going to be a mess. So allow the, the ink to dry. The fine areas, the little skinny areas, it is best to use this tip. Now, there are stems and leaves in this flower, these lilies. So I'm going to start... I'm going to start on these long stems and just apply your glue and while it's while it's still a blue color then you're good 
get the flock on to the areas that you've just glued and press. Now, how hard do you have to press? Not hard. Just kind of poke at it. You don't have to mash it. Just, just poke it. What, what you're doing is you're setting the flock into the glue. So you don't, you don't need to do power through it or anything. And then tap it off. And then there is the start. Now let's do the leaves. And just follow inside the image. And I'm only going to do these three down here right now. And then apply the flock. And you can use it from what you've already tapped off. and tap it. Tap on it. And then tap it off. And there you go. Alright, now we're going to go to the white and I'm going to do the lily flowers and they are a larger part of this image. So I'm going to use this Carefully smoosh the stuff around the glue and fill in the area without going out to the other areas. Add your flock and press. tap off. Alright, now I'm going to work in the center on the little flowers, the stamen things. And right here I've got white inside the image. I just, I'm using a pokey tool and pushing that back. Pushing the flock out of there. And I'll do that to some of the other areas. Now just color in with your glue. And this is This is the reason why you want a fine tipped glue pen. Alright, now we're just going to put that in. Flock likes other flock. Likes to stick to it. So there is some areas where the flock has stuck into the white but that's okay. I've only flocked the flowers and the leaves and the stems and I've used uh, ink markers to color color the rest of it in, color the rest of the image in. This will give you when you feel across you or whoever, if you're making this for a card front whoever you send it to they'll be able to feel the, the dimension and the softness and this is just so cool. And the colors won't run into the flock unless you use a real dark color and get close to a light color then it might run in there. But, but this is this is flocking and it's easy. It's simple to do and I think you'll enjoy it. Just two-way glue. Find a sharp pin, a sharp point, and one with a broad tip. 